Darwin Gabriel Nunez Ribeiro, born June 24, 1999, is a Uruguayan professional footballer who plays as a forward for Premier League club Liverpool and the Uruguay national team. Nunez came through Penarol's Youth Academy, being promoted to the first team in 2017. In August 2019, he joined Spanish Segunda División Club Almeria for a club record fee. Benfica signed him in 2020 for a club record transfer worth 24 million euros, the most expensive signing in Portuguese football history. In his second season, he won the Bola de Prado for top scorer in the Primera Liga with 26 goals in 28 games, being named in the Primera Liga Team of the Year and Primera Liga Player of the Year. Liverpool then signed him in 2022 for a transfer worth 75 million euros, 64 million pounds. After representing Uruguay at various youth levels, Nunez was called up to the senior national team for his first time in 2019. He scored on his international debut against Peru. After missing the 2021 Copa America due to an injury, Nunez represented Uruguay at the 2022 FIFA World Cup and the 2024 Copa America. Early life Darwin Gabriel Nunez Ribeiro was born on 24 June 1999 in Artigas, Artigas Department. He was born into an impoverished family, in which his father Bibiano Nunez was a builder and his mother Silvia Ribeiro was a hawker of milk bottles. Nunez played for local clubs La Luz and San Miguel before being scouted at the age of 14 by former Uruguay international Jose Perdomo, and then moving by himself to the capital city Montevideo to join the ranks of Penarol. Struggling with homesickness, Nunez returned to his hometown to spend time with his family and went back to Penarol a year later. At the age of 17, he suffered a cruciate ligament injury that ruled him out for over a year and required two operations. While he was injured, his older brother Junior quit the club and gave up football in order to provide for the family, telling him you're better suited than me. Club career Early career He made his first team debut in the Primera División on November 22, 2017, when he came on for Penarol as a second-half substitute for Maxi Rodriguez in a 2-1 away loss against River Plate Montevideo. The following month, he had knee surgery for a second time. Nunez scored his first professional goal on October 13, 2018, with the opener in a 2-0 home win over Phoenix. On July 14, 2019, he scored a hat-trick in a 4-0 victory against Boston River. On August 29, 2019, Spanish Segunda División Club Almería announced the signing of Nunez on a five-year contract for a rumored club record fee of 4.5 million US dollar plus 1.5 million dollars in variables. He made his debut on October 3rd as a halftime substitute in 4-2 lead defeat against Sporting Gijón on October 27, 2019, starting for the first time. Nunez scored first goal for his new club in a 3-2 home win against Extremadura with a penalty. He finished his only season at the Estadio de los Huegos Mediterraneos. As the league's joint fourth top scorer with 16 goals, led by compatriot Christian Stuani, Nunez scored these 16 goals in twice as many appearances. Benfica on September 4, 2020, Nunez signed a five-year contract with Portuguese club Benfica, who paid a club record fee of 24 million euros for the player. This was also Almeria's and the Segunda División's biggest transfer, with the club also receiving 20% of a future transfer, 2020-2021, adaptation to Portugal 11 days later. He made his debut for the club in a 2-1 loss against Pauk for the 2020-21 UEFA Champions League third qualifying round replacing Pedrinho in the 65th minute of the game with his assist in a 3-0 win over Rio Avenue on October 18. He reached five assists in his first four league games, best in the league, on October 22. He scored his first goals for the club with a hat-trick against Lech Poznan in a 4-2 away victory in a 2020-21 UEFA Europa League group stage match. Four days later, he scored his first Primera Liga goal in a 2-0 home victory over Bissad. On December 3, after three weeks off through a COVID-19 infection, he returned to action against Lech Poznan in the Europa League group stage, scoring Benfica's second goal in a 4-0 home victory. He struggled over the course of the season with the effects of COVID-19 and various injuries, and did not score for four months. He scored six league goals and provided 10 assists, second best in the 
League, helping Benfica to a third-place finish in qualification for the Champions League third qualifying round, 2021-2022, breakthrough in Bola de Prada Nunez playing for Benfica in 2021 In May 2021, Nunez underwent surgery due to an injury on his right knee, forcing him to miss Benfica's first months of the new season. He made his return from injury on August 21, replacing Everton in the 72nd minute in a 2-0 away victory over Gil Vicente, being booked in the process, following back to back braces against Santa Clara and Boa Vista in the Primera Liga, he was named the league's player of the month and forward of the month for September. On September 29th, he scored his first two Champions League goals in a 3-0 home victory over Barcelona and was named man of the match. On November 27th, he scored his first hat-trick in the league as his team finished the first half at BSAD 7-0 up, though the game was abandoned early in the second half due to insufficient players on the COVID-affected host team, he added another treble on December 12 against Famalico in a 4-1 away win, becoming the seventh player in the league to score back-to-back -back hat tricks. Three days later, he scored two goals in a 3-0 home win over Sporting de Covilha to send his team into the semifinals of the 2021-22 Taka de Liga, though. While he was away on international duty for Uruguay, Benfica were defeated 2-1 by cross-down rivals Sporting CP in the 2022 Taka de Liga final, on February 27. Nunez scored his 20th league goal for Benfica in as many matches, in a 3-0 home victory against Vitoria de Guimaraes, on March 15, in the second leg of Champions League round of 16, he scored the only goal of an away win over Ajax, securing a 3-2 aggregate win in the process. On April 9, he scored his third hat-trick of the season in a 3-1 victory against BSAD, bringing his total goal count for the season to 31 goals. He scored two goals against Liverpool in the 2021-22 Champions League quarterfinals, one in the first leg and the other in the second leg, while his team were eliminated 6-4 on aggregate. These games caught the eye of Jurgen Klopp, with the Liverpool manager stating that he believed that Nunez had a big career ahead of him. His sixth goal of the campaign made him Benfica's all-time top scorer in modern Champions League history, surpassing Nuno Gomez's record of five goals set in the 1998-99 season, on April 17. He scored a goal and provided an assist to help defeat the hosts sporting 2-0 in the Derby de Lisboa, being named man of the match, in his last match for the club. On May 7, Nunez scored a goal that was ruled out by VAR in a 1-0 home loss of O Clasico against rivals Porto, as they sealed the league title. He finished the season with 26 goals in 28 league games, being awarded the Bola de Prado Award as top scorer of the Primera Liga, being named in the Team of the Year and Player of the Year. Liverpool 2022-2023, adaptation to England Nunez, left, celebrating a goal for Liverpool in 2022 on June 13, 2022, Benfica reached an agreement with Premier League club Liverpool for the transfer of Nunez for a €75 million Euro fee plus €25 million Euros in add-ons. The following day, the club confirmed the deal for £64 million, with add-ons potentially taking the overall fee to £85 million at a later date, making him Liverpool's record transfer. On July 30, Nunez made his debut for Liverpool in the club's 3-1 win over Manchester City in the FA Community Shield at the King Power Stadium. He won a penalty, which was converted by fellow forward Mohamed Salah, and scored his first goal for the club with a stooping header in the fourth minute of stoppage time. On August 6, he scored his first league goal for Liverpool and provided an assist for Sulla on his debut against Fulham, which ended in a 2-2 draw. During the following game, he was sent off for violent conduct in a 1-1 home draw against Crystal Palace, having headbutt opponent Joachim Anderson. On October 12, Nunez scored his first Champions League goal for Liverpool in a 7-1 away win against Rangers. However, Nunez received criticism during the first half of the season for missing a number of big chances in matches. Nunez was named the Liverpool Player of the Month for November. On February 21, 2023, Nunez scored Liverpool's first goal in a 5-2 home loss to Real Madrid with a flick between his legs in the first leg of Champions League round of 16, owing to strong performances throughout the month. 
Nunez was named the Liverpool Player of the Month again for February. Nunez's goal against Real Madrid was followed by a brace against Liverpool's rivals Manchester United in a 7-0 victory on 5 March. A minor toe injury disrupted some of Nunez's later game time, with Nunez missing out on three matches owing to this problem. Throughout the whole 2022-23 season, Nunez made 42 appearances and scored 15 goals in all competitions, nine of such goals coming in the Premier League, as Liverpool narrowly missed out on Champions League qualification, goal called Nunez's season mixed, noting that while he had undoubtedly shown promise he also had plenty of flaws to iron out. However, it was an addition recognized by the publication that Nunez had certainly done enough to earn the love and support of the Reds, Liverpool, fans. Many also argued that it was unfair to judge him on his first season, especially on a season in which many Liverpool players suffered from lapses of form, with former Liverpool player Steve McManaman calling him a work in progress. 2023-2024 EFL Cup victory on August 27. 2023, Nunez replaced Alexis McAllister in the 77th minute. In a match against Newcastle United where Liverpool were trailing by a goal and were reduced to 10 men. Nunez scored in the 81st minute and again in the third minute of injury time, meaning that Liverpool won the game 2-1. On January 10, 2024, Nunez provided two assists for his teammates in an EFL Cup semi-final match against Fulham, causing him to rise to the position of Liverpool's top assist maker in all competitions with 10. On January 21, 2024, Nunez scored a brace against Bournemouth Wink with a frown, his first goal was the 100th goal of his senior career for club and country, while his second made him the first Premier League player that season to register at least 10 goals and 10 assists in all competitions. On January 28, Nunez scored against Norwich City in the fourth round proper of the FA Cup, becoming the first player in the 2023-24 season in Europe's top five leagues to reach double figures for both non-penalty goals and also assists in all competitions. On February 17, Nunez scored his ninth Premier League goal of the season in a 4-1 victory against Brentford which equaled his Premier League goal tally from the previous season. However, he was withdrawn from this game injured at halftime and was later ruled out for the 2024 EFL Cup final, in which Liverpool defeated Chelsea. Nunez was praised as one of Liverpool's best performers throughout their EFL Cup campaign. On March 2, he scored in the 99th minute of a 1-0 win over Nottingham Forest, which was Liverpool's latest winning Premier League goal since records began in 2006-07. 2024-2025, third season international career youth Nunez is a former Uruguay youth international and was part of under-20 team squad which finished third in 2019 South American U-20 Championship. Nunez also took part in the 2019 FIFA U-20 World Cup, scoring in the opening match, a 3-1 over Norway. He scored the opening goal in a 2-0 over New Zealand in the final group match, to help Uruguay finish top of Group C. His country was eliminated from the tournament following a 3-1 loss to Ecuador in the round of 16. Nunez was also in the under-22 team that finished in fourth place at 2019 Pan American Games in Peru, scoring in a 2-0 opening win over the hosts. Senior Nunez playing for Uruguay at the 2022 FIFA World Cup Nunez was called up to the Uruguay senior team for friendlies against Costa Rica and the United States in September 2019. He made his international debut on October 16 in a 1-1 draw away to Peru in a friendly match, replacing Brian Lozano in the 75th minute of the game and scoring five minutes later. In June 2021, Nunez was included in the final 26-man Uruguay squad for the 2021 Copa America in Brazil. Due to a right knee injury that would rule him out for two months, he missed the tournament. Nunez was selected in Uruguay's squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. Uruguay were eliminated in the group stages of the tournament after finishing below South Korea on goals scored. Nunez was lauded for his form in the qualifiers for the 2026 FIFA World Cup, scoring a stoppage time equalizer in a 2-2 draw against Colombia on 13 October 2023, scoring and assisting in a 2-0 victory against Brazil on 18 October, scoring in a 2-0 victory against Argentina on 17 November, and scoring a brace in a 3-0 victory against Bolivia on 22 November. 
For this latter performance, compatriot Luis Suarez stated, I have one of the best number nines in the world ahead of me. In June 2024, Nunez was called up to represent Uruguay at the 2024 Copa America in the United States. He scored his first international hat-trick in a 4-0 friendly win against Mexico shortly before the tournament. Player profile Nunez is a right-footed player, possesses an athletic frame. Excellent acceleration and sprinting speed is the defining facet of his athletic skill set, with his change of pace giving him the ability to create immediate separation. He also has good awareness. He scans space and makes decisions when moving relative to the ball, space, teammates, and opponents. Nunez is a disruptive striker with a dynamic range of mobility who can carry counterattacks, make incisive movements around the box and strike the ball explosively. He is adept at attacking open spaces and is good at generating shots from varied situations. He is also a promising creator around the box and is also capable of playing as a left winger. Nunez usually opts to rely on intelligent positioning and timing of runs in between defenders, especially in attacking the space between a fullback and center back at the back post, often initially curving his run away from the center back before moving back infield. He often makes adjustments to his footwork to find space in the box and he also uses his body either to avoid a foul, but forcefully enough to arrive at a cross ahead of his marker. His playing style has led him to be compared to fellow Uruguayan forwards Diego Forlan, Edinson Cavani and Luis Suarez. For his somewhat unpredictable style of football, Nunez is often referred to as the agent of chaos. During his spell at Benfica, under Jorge Jesus and Nelson Verissimo, Nunez played in a variety of positions and systems. He played as a striker and a left inside forward in a 4-4-2 and 3-4-3 formations, with the responsibilities in these roles, shifting on Benfica's ball possession or counter-attacking approaches for games. His ability to drift into the box and create space was a major part of his game, while also being aided by the presence of another striker, either Haris Safarovic or Goncalo Ramos, which enabled Nunez to vacate his wide position to take up more positions in the penalty area. Jamie Carragher has said of Nunez, I think he's got similarities to Fernando Torres. He's got that power, physically, to knock defenders off. And that blistering pace. Personal Life Nunez and his partner Lorena Manas announced the birth of their first child, a son, in January 2022. In addition to his native Spanish, Nunez also speaks Portuguese. Honors Peneral Uruguayan Primera División, 2017, 2018, Benfica Taca de Portugal runner-up, 2020-21, Taca de Liga runner-up, 2021-22, Liverpool FA Community Shield, 2022, Uruguay Copa America third place, 2024, Individual Cosme Damio Awards, Footballer of the Year, 2021, Primera Liga Forward of the Month, September 2021, Primera Liga Player of the Month, September 2021, Primera Liga Team of the Year, 2021-22, LPFP Primera Liga Player of the Year, 2021-22, SJPF Player of the Month, April 2022, Primera Liga Top Scorer, 2021-22, CNID Footballer of the Year, 2022.